let's start with a question we get all the time. What exactly is the metaverse? The reality is there are probably a dozen different answers to that question. But we at Microsoft believe the metaverse represents a paradigm shift in how people will work, live, and play, all by blending the physical and digital worlds. And this shift is enabled by a set of technologies that allow for persistent digital representations connected to all facets of the real world, people, places, things, and even processes. With all of this, it's clear, the metaverse is the next generation of compute platforms. But the question after what is the metaverse is, why should I care? And there are three dimensions to that answer. The first, which is what always comes to mind, is play. How gaming blends physical and digital. The second is how we work together to create more immersive experiences in a hybrid world. And the third, which many organizations haven't yet considered, is the industrial metaverse, which is the ability to simulate, predict, and automate virtually any operation. And this is done using real-time data to create digital representations of systems, automating key business processes, and using machine learning to move from reactive to proactive. The industrial metaverse has the potential to solve some of the world's most difficult challenges across supply chain resiliency, business efficiency, and global sustainability. It's a great example of how we can help customers achieve the potential of the industrial metaverse is Coca-Cola HBC Austria, one of Coca-Cola's most innovative bottling partners. And I'm thrilled that we've invited Gabriella Berger to join us to share how we can talk about her organization and how they're approaching this opportunity. Gabby, it's so nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Thank you Thank for you. being here. Please have a seat. Thank you. So let's start where I just left off, which is the industrial metaverse. And I'd love for you to tell our audience what CCH is doing in this area to actually you know, address the supply chain issues that we're seeing and address global sustainability as well. Yeah. As you can imagine, sustainability is a very important aspect of our business as well. Mm -hmm. And we also made commitment that by 2040, we will be net zero across the whole value chain. It's really important. And that's pretty aspirational. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But it is not just only a commitment. We have a very robust action plan also behind that. And there are many activities in action. And one is the digital twin mm -hmm. for the manufacturing for our lines. And here we were approached, I think it was in December by Microsoft. And for me, it was like, okay, making such a huge pilot for digital twin within mm -hmm. 12 weeks. I was okay. quite skeptical about that. But actually it really turned out very well. And I would like to stop here because I would like to show you what we have built. And for that, I have invited Morgan Winter, who is going to show you what this is all about. Morgan, please. Very excited. Hi, everyone. I'm excited to join you today to show you our custom HoloLens application, leveraging Microsoft Mesh to visualize CCH's bottling facility in Edistal, Austria. This immersive digital twin helps gain visibility across production lines and puts all of the different elements into one single view. So if you give me a second here to start the app, let me dive in. So if you can see here, we have a full view of the A3 line represented from Edisol, Austria. And if I click on each of these individual elements, you can actually see real-time IoT sensor data coming off of them, which is really helpful for the people on the lines because it runs 24 seven, so maintenance staff gets real-time insights. But if I actually take a couple steps back, what's really exciting is I can give you a better view, calling in an AI assistant to run a potential data simulation. improves the ability to make data-driven decisions. Here we can see the current overall output of energy, water, and CO2. So this AI assistant was created using Azure Bot Framework's neural text-to-speech, as well as various performance capturing tools. Not only is she bringing real-time insights, but she's taking this structured and unstructured data. She's telling it to us, 
in real time and can give us actions to take on top of those insights. So, assistant, show alerts. You have an alert on one of the elements. Showing it now. Here is a comparison of CO2 emissions with energy usage. In this view we see the correlation between energy consumption, the operating state of the machines, and CO2 emissions. Lowering temperature and pressure settings could reduce energy consumption by 9%. So now that we have these data-driven recommendations, we can go back to the various teams and stakeholders and meet with them either in mesh or teams and discuss these data-driven recommendations and try to optimize operations even further. So back to you, Gabby. Thank you, Morgan. So we really have amazing results. I mean, with this prototype, we were achieving 9% of energy savings. And that is equal to 70 tons of reduction of CO2. And that's just one line. Imagine if we are going to go further with it. And we are planning for more than 17 lines at that across our organization, across the plants. And also, not only that we are going to do that, we are looking also into other use cases like retouch, a reduction of change over time, mm -hmm. water conservation, performance, operational performance losses, things like that. I mean, absolutely phenomenal to yes. see. And, you know, I know you mentioned this all happened in 12 weeks. Yeah. I mean, the results that you just talked about are incredible. But I'd love to, because we've been partners for a long time, and this wasn't our first sort of entry into <laughs> helping CCH. I think you've been doing some really innovative things with technology to empower your frontline workers and really build that digital resili resiliency that we've talked about. I'd love to hear a little bit more and for you to share with our audience what you've been doing. Yeah. So especially as also us, us in Austria, the pandemic, for example, hit us, it was quite easy to send home our office population because we were using Microsoft Teams, OneDrive and all these tools. So for that, it was easy. But on the other side, we have production, we have warehouses. It is definitely not possible to send these people home. Right. So they had to work on and they had to do their tasks in the production. But also for safety reasons, we had to do some uh, points of mm, doing some distances just to keep them safe. Mm -hmm. And there was then one example of doing virtual plant tours or there was this face-to-face -face meeting we are normally having for uh, the shift handovers from one shift to another, mm -hmm. normally they're face-to-face not possible anymore because we had to keep them separate. So we are also using teams and telling the people, okay, what worked in the last shift? What were some issues? And doing this kind of uh, operation and handovers as well. So that was for resilience. Ah. But also we drove, of course, innovation. One great example is our business performance management system mm. called Edge, which we were de uh, developing together with Fractal. Mm -hmm. And this is also built on Power BI. Right, right. And here you have to imagine, and I think it's quite clear to the audience, normally if you have this monthly and weekly reviews, you go out there, collect all the data for these reviews, you go there and put them all on a spreadsheet, on Excel sheets together, and that normally takes an army just to prepare for this. Yeah. And now it's one click. Oh, you have all that data there based Fantastic. above. Yeah, it's really great. And also we are working more like our citizen developer program. Mm -hmm. Normally the people are all dependent that there are analysts and developers creating their power apps and creating their reports. Now with our program, we are educating our business people to do it themselves. I love that. Yeah, Absolutely yeah love it that. is really great. And up to now, I think we have over 2,000 apps already developed by these business people. And we always talk about giving the tools to those closest to the problem, and that's exactly what exactly. you have done. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, Gabby, thank you so much. We, you know, we talk a lot about what's possible with technology and how you build digital resiliency. What you have done has actually brought this to life. So not only, I think, you know, with the aspirational goals of being a sustainable organization, but then also empowering the people within your organization and making the overall organization more efficient. So it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal thing to partner you. with you. And thank you so much. We Thanks. really appreciate it. And I think really we're just we're getting started. You know, when we talk about the industrial metaverse, technologies like digital twins, AI, mesh, our business applications, immersive experience. These are all things that can be combined to really solve the challenges at hand across supply chain and sustainability. And so there is so much opportunity ahead, not only today, but also in the future. So thank you so much, Gabby, for being here.